again and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before and you like weird creatures and fantasy concepts, you may like some of my other videos. Recently, I've kind of been exploring space and expanding on that and I want to continue more of that today. With this video, I am stepping into the role of engineer. I see space travel in this fictitious reality happening in many expandable ways. What I talk about today will only be a fraction of what could be possible. In my last video about space coral, I briefly mentioned the idea of living minerals and metals being harvestable in many different types of belts. Spacecraft would be something that would greatly be improved by this type of substance. Living metals will be classified as something that is carbon-based and able to produce something, usually some kind of gas or chemicals. This metal would be very malleable when handled correctly and can be transformed into armor, weapons, vehicles, and more. While it's not the absolute strongest material in the universe, living metals do provide other advantages when handled properly. They wouldn't be completely sentient, but could form bonds with their owners to protect and transport them. They would be able to die as they are alive, but they also would have a very limited free range of motion. These ships before you now would be mainly used to transport one to four people and light luggage. They wouldn't be the greatest for deep space travel, but mainly between moons and larger spacecraft. If their owner takes good care of them, they are more willing to cooperate, but if a stranger or someone who mishandles them takes the wheel, they may not even turn on. Different ships would have different temperaments, it just depends. Because they are alive, they will need proper diet, and usually minerals, gems, crystals will do. Depending on the properties of the ship and the materials you feed them, it can result in different things. If you feed it something that has a contrasting property, it may become sluggish and weak. If you feed it something that it likes, it may get a boost in speed or stamina. As you can see, there are so many different possibilities with a ship like this. Some ships may even have the ability to shapeshift a little bit. I try to keep the design very organic and very animalistic to show off that it is, in fact, alive, if not completely sentient. There is still so much further that can be explored with these advanced minerals. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please consider giving me a like, a follow, or share to help this channel grow. Until next time!